Usman Sila, the National Assembly member for Banjul North, who is also the chairperson of the National Assembly Select Committee on Health. Honorable, welcome to the program. Thank you. And on my left, uh, immediate left, I have uh, Mr. Mo Dunjai. Um, he's the Director of Health Promotion and Chairperson of the Risk Communication Committee. Mr. Dunjai, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. And uh, we will remind you once again, the program is meant to um, look at the uh, government's COVID-19 response uh, package and other issues concerning the COVID-19 pandemic in the Gambia. And to begin this program, with, I'll start with uh, the Honorable Member for Banjul Nota, Honorable Usman Silla. Um, today we've had another extension of the state of public emergency by the President, His Excellency Adam Obaro. Tell us more about this. Well, thank you very much, Mama. Uh, I want to uh, recognize the, this program that is being uh, conducted by the media, uh, of course, having both the National Assembly and the executive on what pl one platform to talk about an issue that affects the, 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 the whole country. Uh, this is just uh, an indication that uh, what we are trying to address uh, what brought us here is an issue that needs uh, collective engagement, collective involvement, collective efforts to address it because it is something that uh, does not spare anyone. Uh, no branch of society, no branch of society, no branch of governance, uh, government, the state is spared. So it's an issue that we really should uh, uh, be confronting with in, a, in a collective manner, in a collective approach. Uh, and that is, this is the demonstration of that. I want to recognize that in passing. Uh -huh. uh, yes, uh, we, as you've indicated, uh, we've heard it, I've seen a press release, uh -huh. that uh, the president has uh, made a real proclamation uh, for, the, for, uh, to, for Gambia, uh -huh. not extension, but uh -huh. for the Gambia to continue in a state of emergency for 21 days. And that, uh, of course, this can only take effect if it is uh, published in the Gazette, because it's not press releases, they are not law, so it has to be in the Gazette for it to have the effect of law. Well, I've not seen it in the Gazette yet, but I, that is what should be done. But uh, what this is telling you is that uh, the country uh, is facing a situation where uh, the government, the executive, deems it necessary to declare a state of emergency oh. under section 35 of the constitution of the republic which uh, empowers the president to declare a state of emergency if there is any issue that is confronting the country and that is deemed to be a threat to life of people in this country to the safety of the people in this country uh, uh, and then just the, the, the situation in the country generally so that, those are the instances that uh, the president can invoke that section to make a proclamation. But it can last for only seven days if the National Assembly is sitting. Uh, if it is sitting and uh, for it to, to go beyond seven days, the National Assembly has to uh, approve of it. And that uh, if the National Assembly is not sitting, that's the time when it can go for 21 days. And that, uh, of course, if there is any need for a, an extension, it has to come back to the National Assembly. If you, you can look at the history uh, of this pandemic and this emergency, it started like that. The executive started uh, with a proclamation initially. Of course, it was two weeks, but uh, you know there were some challenges, some some legal legal issues there. But anyway, the essence is that uh, it started with seven days of proclamation, after which the executive came to the National Assembly, as required by the Constitution, to request for an extension. They wanted 90 days, but at the assembly, we eventually gave the executive uh, 45 days. We have that, that period. In fact, for me, I was uh, in fact calling for a shorter period, two weeks. But by then, I did not know the gravity of this issue, of this situation that we are confronting. But uh, when they came back for the second time, I was you know, one of those who really wanted to give them the extension. Because I am fully involved, I am okay with the issues by virtue of my position in this health committee on health at the National Assembly in our interaction with those at health, in our, our having access, preview to information 
and then you know visiting facilities. So I'm convinced that you know Gambia is in a state where we don't need to drop our guard. Uh, we don't need to be complacent. Uh, COVID-19 is real. Although if you look at the mortality rate, it's insignificant if you talk, talk about talking about numbers because what they're saying is that that's the pattern everywhere. That every out of every hundred person who are infected, only 80 of them are asymptomatic. They go out. Some, some of them will not even realize that they have been infected, and it can enter their system and go out. But 20% are those that will require hospitalization, and that out of that 20%, that we, we are, this is where you have severe cases and um, moderate cases, mild cases, and the severe cases sometimes results, results to death. And then in the Gambia, one can say that uh, we should presently, as of now, we have 28 cases and one mortality, one, one death. Uh, one can regard that as insignificant, but that's life. So that's the essence. So when the president came, the, the executive through the Attorney General and Minister of Justice for the National Assembly to give them an extension, I was one of those who really wanted to, 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 to defer that extension. Of course, what we could have done as an assembly, uh, it eventually was rejected because the... That, the that is where I want to come, because um, you said it's not in the gadget. Mm -hmm. But um, the, the president sent this thing into, uh, to the National Assembly and it was rejected by the National Assembly, voted against. Uh, don't you think that is the reason why the president uh, took the powers vested in him again to add another 21 days? No, there is no problem. president can always do that. What okay. I'm saying is that, mm -hmm. you know, these pronouncements, they can only have the effect of law if they are gazetted. That's governance. Mm -hmm. Anything that's not gazetted does not have the effect of law. So what I'm, I guess they have done that, and that's what they should, have done. They, they should do. And, well, I want to believe that they have done that. That's my, that's my point. I'm not questioning the president declaring 21 days state of emergency. He has that, those powers. Okay. In fact, it's an ad finitum. In fact, that's the challenge. You know, the National Assembly initially was very much part of the process because in the first, uh, during the first, the, the first time they, they came and they requested for an extension, after we, the National Assembly granted the extension, the National Assembly established a committee that was monitoring the regulations, the implementation of the regulations. By then we were in charge because by then, you know, we would just wake up in one morning and then call any member of the executive, any minister to come before us. And they would come with their team to come and explain things. Mm -hmm. Because then we, we can still continue the scrutiny, still continue monitoring, but like that is what health, that is the, what the health committee that I am part of is doing now. Yeah. But by then we were doing that. But now what is happening is that the president can do this and then there is no more no assembly and, committee. And he can do it over and over because we, that's the, 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 the COVID-19, um, it's, it's not exactly. going and, and it's not better that way. That's the reason why I started. Uh -huh. the, the, the way I started, I said that it is good that we are demonstrating this partnership. This collaboration that is required. Uh -huh. We should have gone, we should have continued like that. By now, uh -huh. the National Assembly should have you know, accepted the, the extension, extension and then okay. be part of it okay. to control it. So, to, 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 I mean, controlling it because if you are part of it, mm -hmm. you can. We can even. Uh, they, they said 20, 45 days. We can give them the 45 days because the argument was that if you they, they, if you want to give them 25, 21 days, mm -hmm. the president can give himself 21 okay. days. So give them the 45, or you can give them even anything, anything more than 21 mm -hmm. that he cannot give himself. Okay. Then if you do that, mm -hmm. you'll be in charge. And even 45 days, giving them 45 days, if you come to 30 days and see that everything is fine, then you can revoke it. Now, so we always has the power to, to, revoke, to revoke, revoke it. Okay, to okay. Revoke it. So that was, the, that, was the, that was the issue. Okay. So this is what I'm emphasizing. So it's good for the executive. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the president can make pronouncements all the time, proclamation, mm -hmm. but I think it's important for us to, to, for them to come back mm -hmm. so that we will work in concert. To the, the National, National Assembly, Assembly and the okay. executive so that, you know, we'll be part of this. They can come. And of course, I'm sure perhaps the, what they don't want is to come back and then be rejected. Mm -hmm. But... I think it's important that we work together. Fair Let about. them come back so I say we will be fully involved. In fact, like I said, mm -hmm. we're still fully involved. The health committee is active, active. It's, up on, it's in high gear. Exactly. We are engaging. In fact, last week we had the minister and the team before us, uh -huh. and then uh, we're doing our oversight. Yeah, that yeah. effective. Okay, we'll come back so to that and to see what the National Assembly is doing to, um, to also um, fully participate uh, in the fight against COVID-19 as, as expected. Uh, we'll now turn to the, uh, the director of health uh, promotion um, who is also the chairperson of the um, the risk uh, communications uh, committee uh, mr modinjai is going to give us an update of the covid 19 as at today <laughs> mr. Uh, anyway, thank you very much uh, mama basically i just want to
that were reported. Active cases. And then the active cases are five now at the, at the hospital. But, Mama, there were a lot of questions about our treatment center. Uh -huh. uh, many people are asking, uh, well, they've never seen somebody with a, with a, with a, a COVID-19 COVID COVID uh -huh. patient. Uh -huh. And then some of us are saying that they don't believe in it. Uh -huh. But actually, we are very happy that uh, uh -huh. um, just to break that barrier, uh -huh. we were able to invite the media. In fact, we didn't just dictate, we didn't just tell them what to do. Uh -huh. We just send, uh, you know, a couple of media houses, you know, just send them to the treatment center in Wenchong. Uh -huh. It was so interesting to them, and uh, we didn't say anything, we didn't talk. Uh -huh. They were able to talk to the uh, medical doctors on the ground, uh -huh. uh, Dr. Boaka Jan and team, uh -huh. and actually they were able to see things for themselves. Yes, yes, see, and they are now, believing. They are now advocating and even talking on our behalf. Uh -huh. This is what we really wanted. Uh -huh. And then, because when we are talking, uh -huh. the media were not even taking us seriously. They were saying, ah, these people are saying, people are admitted there, but we have never seen it. You know, this is not, even the media, some of the media personnel no, are not know, even You know, because the it. media is just relaying what the public is exactly, saying. Exactly, but the, the media most personnel... Most of the people, are, you, know, are say, you know, they tend to be ignorant that's, of that's the disease. That's what I'm saying. So that is why we believe. started with the people who are passing the information, uh -huh. either through social media uh -huh. or other means, uh -huh. so that they themselves will go and see it for themselves. And we are very happy that they have seen it. And they believe in it now, and they are now even advocating for us. Now we time those ones are for them did not believe in it. Now they've gone in, they've seen it, and they now believe in it. And they are now helping us in our advocacy. That is where we are at the moment. And also we have about 130 people on quarantine. Huh. In our quarantine facilities, people also say a lot of things. Some people were there, they made some accusations. We were able to come out and make some clarifications, and those things were clear with regards to uh, feeding the... And we want to assure the public that uh, um, people who are on quarantine are really living comfortably, and then they're getting what they're supposed to get, all what psychosocial support, I mean, the laboratory services, all other services that are provided by the team are provided to them. So need to know that. That is why, the, because of the negative information they are getting from certain people that why it has been, that was why it was been very difficult for us to get people on quarantine they tested their quarantine facilities they also did not want to come out of quarantine mm. you can see that now that is what has happened in certain instances because they don't expect that certain facilities were inside that, that quarantine center but when they when they had the service that were provided also they some of them did, decided not to go out they were even asking for certain extension of one or two days uh, so you can see, yes, because I mean, I hope. But anyway, <laughs> so there is, you can see what happens. So because yeah. like, it's because of the negative information that has been going around. Okay. We mm -hmm. in identifying and countering rumors mm -hmm. that has been really affecting us, and that is what is causing all this denial. That is what is also causing discrimination and stigma, so that we can be able to flatten. The, the epidemiological curve of COVID-19, we have to work together. And this coming up with the public emergency to extend it to 21 days huh. is a very good idea at this point in time. Because you can see, when there was a relax, we, we, we reported, within that week, we reported two cases. So who knows? And because now people feel that they are free, they can do whatever thing they want to do. People can sneak in, the borders were not controlled. Even where we said that certain community members can be able to identify community vigilantes in, the, in, the, in certain, certain strategic locations within the borders. Uh -huh. Some communities have done it, some decided not to do it. So now we are asking for people now to see health as their own thing. Let people come and take the responsibility of having or trying to improve their own health and the destiny lies in their own hands. Okay. We want to really assure them that that's the only thing we can do because the government have done what it's supposed to do. Uh -huh. Now it is the people now, it's now left to the people to take care, health care services seriously. Seriously. Okay. Because otherwise we're going to have a lot of problems. Problems. And we, we also seen that, Mama, uh -huh. uh, people are still not practicing social distancing. Distancing. We'll come to that. Uh -huh. But let's now turn to the Honorable Member for Banjul Not uh, um, as the uh, chair passing of the um, health select committee on health now tell us what measures are there for the national assembly select committee on health to further strengthen uh, the fight against COVID-19 in the Gambia we understand you went on track um, countrywide uh, what what have you seen and what have you come up with in the fight against uh, the, the pandemic 
Well, yes, you see, the control of the community basically is, uh, is prescribed by law because it is one of the instruments of the National Assembly to be performing oversight on the institutions that are, you know, under its power. And in this case, we're talking about health. Oh. So what we did was that, and we continue doing as well, is that to engage. Uh -huh. We have been engaging the officials. We have been visiting, we have been visiting facilities uh -huh. to see uh, the, initially we had an initial engagement that was uh, to determine uh -huh. the state of preparedness of the Gambia. Uh -huh. And then that was concluded. Uh -huh. And then after that, we had another second engagement uh -huh. that was to, to, to assess the state of response to, to, the, to, the, to the pandemic. Uh -huh. And uh, in fact, it is that process that is still on. Uh, the committee will be presenting a report during this uh, second uh, uh, ordinary session, which is starting on Monday, uh -huh. 15 June. Uh -huh. uh, we'll be presenting a report to, to, to share our findings uh -huh. with the plenary of the, of the assembly and then our recommendations as well. But uh, that's basically the role of the committee, to perform oversight. And the, the essence of the oversight is to ensure that uh, uh, the sector and the institutions that are charged with the responsibility to effectively address this pandemic mm -hmm. are functioning in accordance with uh, the goals that are set out, uh, the resources also, and so that they are rationally utilized, they are put where they are supposed to. In fact, uh, someone was even asking the other day that, uh, uh, well, uh, this extension, they believe that uh, it's an opportunity for the the executive to to take advantage uh -huh. of the situation you know uh -huh. to 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 plot the resources but my assurance uh, to, to 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 that person and also to the nation is that uh, national assembly has this oversight committees uh -huh. our role is to accompany we don't initiate it is the executive that initiates but we ensure that what they initiate uh -huh. is what they implement and then, of course, the resources that we approve of are utilized in accordance to what we've approved as an assembly. And then uh, at the end of the, 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 the process, and even during the course of the process, we're going to ensure that resources are committed to where they are supposed to, that there is going to be accountability. And what we are doing is to ensure that the process is transparent. And that's the essence of national assembly being part of it, part of the process. Like I said, uh, uh, we are still part of it. Like the health committee is still active. In fact, it is the, it is the committee that has the mandate on health. Uh -huh. The other committee that was formed was only uh -huh. uh, mandated to uh -huh. monitor the implementation of the regulations. But it is this committee uh -huh. that has the mandate on health to ensure that uh, the, the executive addresses this issue uh -huh. effectively. Uh -huh. And then uh, here we are, we are faced with this. Uh, there are regulations, like you said, because uh, the state of emergency, like I said, uh, is declared that is the president who, who, who has the powers to declare, to make a pro proclamation on the state of emergency for a period, uh -huh. but it's the assembly that has the power to extend it. Uh -huh. And then the, the, the initially they came, we extended. The second time they came, we rejected because the constitution requires three thirds of the, the membership of the National and Assembly. It was the 25 against 20. But 20, and well, in fact, that 25 20. is even less than the majority. It's not majority. Uh -huh. The problem is not the majority. The problem is that having three quarters. Mm -hmm. So those who, the, the, the ones who rejected were more than those who supported it at that time. Mm -hmm. But that was not the entire membership. Because the entire membership, those that have voting rights as of now, is 56. Mm -hmm. The speaker does not have voting powers. Mm -hmm. the, the there's this, this is our, our late colleague, uh, Demba So, Honorable Demba So, may his role soul rest in peace, mm -hmm. is not, not, it's not there, so that, 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 that seat is not represented. Mm -hmm. So it is 56. Mm -hmm. Out of the 56, 25 voted, mm -hmm. rejected it. Mm -hmm. So, and then 23, 23 supported it. Okay. But even that 23, mm -hmm. uh, even that 25 is mm -hmm. not majority. What the constitution requires is three thirds. Okay. So, and in fact, this is the, this is the essence uh, that, uh, uh, like I said, it's, you have to collaborate in this. This is not, this is an health issue. Everything aside mm -hmm. is health. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, this does not discriminate. Mm -hmm. So, how do we ensure that people are sensitized? Because now we see denial. Mm -hmm. Some people are even, you know, they don't believe it. Some people are, mm -hmm. I can no, see, it's no less affair because for them, yeah. there's, no, there's it's no issue for politics. No, it's, not politics. it's no issue for sentiments. Mm -hmm. This is real. Yeah. COVID is real. Mm -hmm. Like I said, of course, at the end of the day, one can say that, well, the mortality rate is, is, is insignificant. But mm -hmm. lives, we're talking about lives. And for us, it would be very irresponsible for a National Assembly member mm -hmm. to even consider one life mm -hmm. as insignificant. As insignificant. Because our duty, yeah. that's our duty. That's mm -hmm. what we have sworn mm -hmm. to protect, protect lives, lives and promote the welfare, welfare of Gambians. Gambians that is our duty as National Assembly members. If we 
fail to do that, if we mm -hmm. fail to stand by that, mm -hmm. then definitely we are not worthy of what we have sworn. We are, what we have, we are, in fact, yeah, I can say we we don't we don't we, we don't deserve to be representing the, the population. So, but what I have seen is that El, it's still not too late. We can still work mm -hmm. because the challenge now is that mm -hmm. people are talking about extension. Do we need an extension? For me, it's the regulations because an extra emergency. Uh, you can declare it, but it cannot be if implemented. It cannot be effected. That have any effect if it does not come with regulations. And according to the constitution, the regulations have to be reasonable and justifiable in a democratic society. And that's what the National Assembly should ensure, that the regulations that are passed... But, but, are but the ones that are in place currently, are they not... Uh, well, of course, they are, of but there are challenges to it. It, it's not, it's, it has, you know, it's affecting some people, their livelihoods. So I think that is the point now how to revisit. That's why the executive needs to come to the National Assembly. So the National Assembly will revisit. The CREL committee will be doing that, will be interrogating oh, the regulations. But this was, this, some of these regulations uh, were um, declared by the WHO in, in partnership with the Ministries of Health. Um, I, 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 I suppose it's, it's something that is... Um, no, no, the regulations, they're, they're homegrown. The regulations are those that are saying that when you go to the market, you, you, you face physical, distancing. Physical distancing. I think well, that physical is distancing, what it yes, Physical distancing. They talk about social distancing, but they're, they're discouraging mm -hmm. that. You cannot distance social. Socially, we yeah. have to integrate. Exactly. But it's just physical, physical, physical distancing. Physical distancing. That's and some, some call it spacing. Mm -hmm. that, that's, those are the regulations. Face that are talking about closing distance. businesses, you know. And then some people depended on those businesses for their livelihood. So yeah. I think this is what we need to do now. How to revisit the, the regulations to ensure that businesses can open. But I but think that, that, that too has, has been taken care of because businesses are now, all businesses are, are now allowed to open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. I think. No, uh, but there are businesses that are closed. There yeah. are video clubs. I mean, yeah. Video clubs. Maybe. There, are, there are young people, so many young people there. No, no, some of the businesses are really calling, attracting uh, I think the, the markets people, actually, yeah, the markets are yeah. open, I and that is where you have most of the business centers. Six, uh, six a.m. to six p.m. Okay. But, but there are still some businesses that are that are, that are affected, that are being affected by the regulations. Exactly. They are not allowed to operate. Mm -hmm. How do we revisit that? Like video clubs, is it possible for us to do physical distancing? Distancing. Like for instance, the mosques. Yeah. And in fact, that's a child, that's an issue that I would want to call the attention of the executive. That uh, the complaint that was being uh, made mm -hmm. by the religious leaders, mm -hmm. members of the Gambia Supreme Islamic Council, mm -hmm. and also the Christian Council, when they came, it was before the National Assembly, mm -hmm. and when they were even here, mm -hmm. was that they were not consulted when the places of worship were, there were mm -hmm. restrictions, the regulations mm -hmm. affected them. Mm -hmm. And this time around, they have allowed places of worship to open. But what they should have done is to engage them again, mm -hmm. involve them, consult them before doing that. Mm -hmm. So that, because what we want, the essence is that, mm -hmm. for me, I have been supporting that, mm -hmm. that was my pronouncement, that I would support opening, reopening the place of worship. Mm -hmm. But if we can do this physical distancing, mm -hmm. and that's what he said, but it's not observed. It's not observed. This last Friday, I went to a mosque, mm -hmm. that's the, it was helter skelter. Yeah. Were not, you know, they were, it's as business as usual. As usual. So those are the things that I see. Government should have in, invited the Supreme Islamic Council, mm -hmm. and the, the Gambia Christian Council, Council mm -hmm. and tell them that mm -hmm. go and then engage all those religious leaders mm -hmm. to see whether we can have some management, in, if they are not existing, mm -hmm. to create some management, some, some a sort of structure mm -hmm. at the level of the mosques, Committees. at the level of church, churches, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that they will ensure that when people come, mm -hmm. there will be this physical distancing, mm -hmm. yeah. this hand washing and all and these things. Exactly. But it's not being done. So, so, so so that, and that's the challenge. Next time, it's, it's just consultation. Yeah. They ought to be consulting. Okay. Don't do things in the absence of the people. Invite them because they are the ones who are going to do the implementation. Exactly. Yeah. Now we'll yeah, now turn to uh, Mr. 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 Ngai. Barely, barely a week, barely yeah. a week after the government losing um, um, restriction, COVID-19 yeah. restriction measures, we've seen um, another, um, you know, uh, extension sort of, uh, of of another 24, 21 days, and uh, it it has been a concern um, for everyone actually that people are ignoring some of these uh, restriction measures. For example, physical distance seen you know wearing of face masks and avoiding some of this crowd and now that um, you know the, the 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 restriction has been you know losing uh, or relaxed uh, what, what 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 is there for for people to observe anymore because people don't tend to observe some of these things yeah. I, I, are you scared that you know the disease might further spread uh, you know out of control no I'm actually i have concern um the fact that uh, the way and manner people have seen this um, the, the state of public emergency, the regulation. Uh, I think it's the perception, the way they see it and the way they interpret it. 
Some people think it might be a witch hunt. Some people might think it's political dimension. Some may think other, other dimension to it. But if you look at public health, public health does not compromise the health of the people. It, I want to remind the public with regards to the, the father of public health when, uh, during the time of the development of the, the public health um, uh, law, yes. the, the, the public health law of 1848. Um, I think this is something that everything started from in Great Britain. So you can, and the, I mean, regulations and public health. And all those. The first public health act emphasized the need that if this or there are disasters or no health disasters, you should be able to control the population. You should be should be able to act and to make sure that you separate, to make sure that the people who are healthy are separated from the unhealthy, and also you restrict the movement of the people. We have seen it. In, let's just remind ourselves during the I, in, I mean many years ago uh -huh. when somebody had tuberculosis, for example, what happened? The public health officers will get that person, keep you somewhere, give you all the treatment. You don't go to the, your, your people until you are treated. But over time, those things have reduced. Now you can take them to the health center. They can be. So we are trying to, I mean, relax public health a bit, just to lose some of the rigid nature of public health laws and public health act yeah. globally. Uh -huh. So that, sh that should not make people to capitalize on that as an opportunity. To say because the, the laws are flexible, so let me do A, B, and C. Mm. But the public health act is also there. What can also apply the public health act? If you but, know, but, you but feel what are you waiting for? What no, are what I'm saying is like, you know, as I always say, mm. we need to go because into since dialogue. Since these ones we, we are not go, working. Yeah, we need to go into dialogue. Mm -hmm. We need to negotiate with the people. And we need to be very flexible with the people. Mm -hmm. But people should not take that flexibility mm -hmm. as an advantage Granted. over mm -hmm. government. Mm -hmm. But not knowing that Public Health Act is still active. Mm. The, 1998, the 1990 Public Health Act is still there. When you talk about disease prevention, disease control, mm. disease protection, mm. protecting the population from disease, mm. it's still there. It's still it there. can still be applied. Oh, but we want, we want to appeal to the public that applying the laws are the last resort. Okay. We just want to now educate the people, sensitize them, build their capacity. Mm. That's where you have health promotion to come in. We want people now to take the responsibility of their own health. Oh, okay. That's what we want. And that we have seen that in certain communities. I, I have to talk about this. We go to communities like Sabi uh -huh. in the Upper River region. Uh -huh. They have taken the, the, the health as their own responsibility. Uh -huh. What they did first, uh -huh. they have to identify. They had identified community vigilantes uh -huh. and they put them in the eight exit point of Sabi towards the border. And the VDC, Village Development Committee, are the ones supporting this youth. Uh -huh. Providing them with foil, providing them with support. This is what we want people communities to do. But you can see certain communities also, they allow, they allow people to, to smoke with certain mm -hmm. people, either use a motorcycle or whatever. This is also happening. Mm -hmm. So it's all about attitude of the people. We need to change our attitude. We need to change the way we are. Mm -hmm. The only thing we can be able to, the only way we can prevent the disease not to enter into this country is to ensure that mm -hmm. we control our borders. Our borders, okay. But then people are controlling at the, for example, the official borders, Others are allowing people, in fact, they are helping them. It seems to be porous. They are helping the them borders to are very porous. Yeah, that's the problem. Very well. so, uh, uh, I will now shift to uh, local languages uh, for the benefit of our local viewers. Mbokanya Setan, Fisi Jiat, yes. COVID-19 grand package. television services, GRTS, Paradise TV, QTV, Aka, I Africa, COVID-19 grand package February 
jota buñ ci yalla musal len ci nga xamne nak itamit ñoko jot itamit yalla def nak ñu topandigal nga xamne mom lañ wara def be mucca ci febaru mbass bi ni ah be taxna nak tay ñi nga xamne ñum la am ci biir studio bi di la député bu joggé ko ca banjul not di honorable ousmane silla ah ak ki nga xamne mom itamit du fi gan di director of health promotion té moy ci ap sen bu risk communication committee bi di mom duñ jaay ñom ñoo fe fas ene waxtaan ak yeen dina leen ubi line ci nak ci ko defé ngeen muna call bok ci programme bi wax seen xalaat ak itamit li nga xamne mo leen jaaxal ci li nga xamne moy febaru mbass bi ni di ñew ci député bi nga xamne mo joggé ko banjul ndax kat tayit dega ngeen njitu rew mi his excellency president adam baro yokat na ne mom la la ko wala bok bes nga xamne ko mom la ko doole bi nga xamne mom la ko constitution manam lu way rew mi jox pour mu yoka fan yi nga xamne mom lañ wara tok ci keer yi wala bok seytu pour xex febaru mbass bi ni ndax kat dega ngene febaru bi ci ngelaw la nek be taxna nak jaxal na askan gi yeb be taxna nguur gi nak kom ñom ku jaxla rek ci mom ngay dem ñom itam ñu ngi jël seen matuway pour gis ne xex bi ni def nañ ko ci ci anam bo xamne ñep dinañ ko mëna dante mu ci ci tamit honorable yena nek ci neegi député yi gis nañ another 21 days ñaar fukki fan ak ben bi nga xamne mom la president bi wax ne yoko nako ci doole bi nga xamne mom lako lu way rew mi jox tay lol mo fi xew tay honorable naka 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 lako député yi gisse xamna ne lu wa moko jox ngeti rew mi wa lima doon wax rek comme nima do rew on ci kalama tubab moy rek ne lak tubab moy ne ma nga rafetlu jotaay bi ne jotaay bi ni limo woné rek moy ne li nga xamne mom lañu jankontel fim nek moy mbass mi dafa nek mbir bo xamne dafa soxla ñep def seen loxo rawati na ñi nga xamne ñom lañu gitap ñu ligal askan wi moy euh president bi ak ñi liggey ci ronam euh muy executif bi ak ñi nga xamne ñoo nek ci pentu tane fi ñi nga xamne ñeleen tane pu ñu ligal leen moy 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 em national assembly member ci mu melni euh lolu moy liggey bi dañu wara bokka ciappa euh gis ne li taway bi soxla jox nañ ko ko waaw comme ni ko waxe rek president bi ñu ne wax na ne yokat na ñaar fukki fana benna Uh, so ci sena president bi di am sañ sañ yi taxawal ne wax ne dekk bi dafa nek ci digante dafa nek ci jamono jo xamne euh dafa am yo xamne loi yu ko rang ranga yo xamne nam cena chopeku mo def ci ci nit ñi sen niño dundé mo ci emergency ne lolu mu ngi mëna am rek su fekké ne euh deux mi amna lo xamne mu ngi mu ngi jankonté réew mi lo xamne dafa lor dundi baken dafa dafa lor askan bi muna 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 jël ni sen baken muna isi fitna muna isi chono muna isi jaxaso ne lolu si si fan yoy non la muna wax ne ah dika bi dal mu ngi nek ci digante man president bi amna dole yu mo jël pour gis ne loi amna loi yu ma isi wax ne na am jafé jafé yu mo awa isi ni ñu ndaw rek moy rek ne ko lu ma jox la ci misal ne tejal sa sa bitik bu jaay té ko fofu honorable bal ma rek ma joxé nomba yi ni nga xamné ni ñi sétane su ko défé ñu mëna call nomba yi ni di 347 80 89348089 mu ngeena ko wala ci number yi non su ko defé rek ngeen mëna bokka ci programme bi honorable bu continuer waaw mu melni lool la président bi def loi bi na li wax moy né mu na ko def waye nak dafa wara jël juroom juroom ñaari fan su féké national assemblée mu ngi tok di waxtaan ci liggéey mu ngi tok dajé su féké dajé wuñ nak mu na nek ñaar fukki fan ak benn defon nañ lool bi ñoo ñika door président bi def lool nonu ñaar fukki fan la won demo na sax ñaari bi waye lool amon na jafé jafé bo xamné ñom gis nañ ñu jafé jafé la ci ñom euh ne loi santane ko nonu waye ñu jël rek na ñaari ñaar fukki fukki fan ak ñaar la won ñu joggé fa ñu ñoo laaj ne gi tane fi ne dañ bëgga ndax te loi dafa ne ñom puñ ko yoka président mënu ko yoka ne gi tane fi rek ko mënu yoka mo na sax assemblée bi bi ñu laaj nañu ñu yokal ko ñom li ñoon laaj nak moy ñetti wër ñu ne leen dé dañ ko daj benn wër ak genn wala ñu joxon leen loolu waye loi bi dafa ne bala lool di jéss su fekké bu gëna yokat dafa wara ñëwat nak député yi nangoat bi ñëwaté ñaarel yoon bi député dañ bañoon ndax loi bi dafa ne so jëlé député def leen ñetti haaj ñetti haaj ñu wara nangu 
kada biñ tamé nak ñi fa nekkon mutu ñi sax ñetti ñet lool nonu melni ñi oppon na ñi fa nekkon dañ ñe dal buñ ko duñ ko duñ yoka melni yoka amul wa lool na li ci fa jafé ci moy né né ngi tané fi suñ bokkon suñ nangu won lool ñom mu nañu jël ba tay ñu contrôle affaire yi suñ né ba sa digawa sax mu nañu dem daga ko né dé dét fim nekk président bi yang jang joxon nañ la mo ñom dañ ñoo laaj ñen fukki fana juroom ñu né wa joxon nañ juroom ñen ñen fukka fana juroom mu nañu dem ba ñeta fukki fana né mané na em fini am nañ doole bobu dik nekk tan am nañ doole bobu non waye rek li ci am solo moy dañ ko wara contrôle ndax te lu xew moy dafa am ay loi yu ici yoyo ta stéré emergency bi mëna am loi yoyo non nak daf dé galan kor nit ñi honorable dafa melni am na ku nekk ci line bi hello kola hello good evening hello hello assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum hello kola hello na ngeen def dafa melni ko mu ñu déganté ak moy hello wa mu melni loi yu ndaw yi mu de ici moy ñu ko réguler son yoy nonu mo moy dem nak comme ni ma waxon rek ay ala fi yo amone mu daf ko nangu daf ko wagni ne lool nak mo de xawa ici metti ci nit ñi mo de ici jafé jafé mo de you know comme ñu na tejal sa bitik ñi jaay li ni comme ñi video club yi tejal leen bu leen ubeti ko xamne mom gor joxo ko liggey mo moy daan doolem nga ne ko tejal da ba fara joxlo ta loi bi dafa ne sax soko ñi nga ñi nga ñu dang leen tej loi bi loi yu ndaw yoy nonu ñi wax ne def leen ñim geten loi bi dafa ne wara joxon dam pay wax nga yo joxelo ndam pay ñu lañ wax ne lu lañ wara xol ne president bi betay sax man lima moy ne loi mo wara wax press release du loi loi dafa melni luñ def lu press bi def rek dafa wara dem ñu def ko gisse dafa benn keet bu nekk bu ñu wara geene bu ñu geene ngur ga ko mom keet gogu nooru lu fa geena rek loi la lu fa geena mo loi la ko ci lool lañu jël amna ko nekk ci line bi hello kola hello good evening hello assalamu alaikum hello dafa melni line bi nangu wudde euh betay rek honorable wa ma ngi don continuer may ne melni melni lolu non loi yi nga xamne ñom la geten fim nekka su fekke fa yoka dafa am sax comme limo do wax ne moy ne president bi fok ñu def ko ci gesset fim defut lolu non betay dafa melni amut amut fim betay dafa melni wa dafa melni sori ma jass dafa melni lolu press release rek la xaw ma man mom la may def press release xaw ma nak nak geena ci gesset bi te dafa wara geena ci gesset bi waye lolu ma wax rek pour affaire loi ne loi ñun loi loi lañu def def lantel ñun dafa rakati loi lañ suñu wax yeb dafa wara wéru ci loi ne lolu moy li am fim nekk nak lolu la buga ne su fekke continuer fa am sax Uh, loi bi dafa ne president muna 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 ñu taxawal because mom nekkut ku def ko yokal hello amat nak kenen ku nekk ci line bi hello 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 assalamu alaikum good evening kola hello kola hello good evening hello bete rek mu ngeena call ci 347809 347809 amoy number bi nga xamne mom ngeen ñoo call pour mëna bok ci programme bi di len fatale rek ne yene nga setan jiat yes ci programme bi ni di covid 19 grand package mu and ci ak sista television station nga xamne ñoo nekk ci bir rew mi manam ay domi ndeyam paradise tv qtv itv ak ñi nga xamne jiat yes nga xamne fofu ngeen ñoy setan right now ñu uh, ci covid 19 grand package bi manam febrari mbass bi nga xamne mom uh, mom lañ leen di isil waxtan nga xamne mom lañ de am every day manam bes bu nekk ci waxtu bi ni amna kenen ku nekk ci line bi hello good evening kola hello hello assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam rahmatullah hello waaw ñu ngi la deklu hello kola good evening ah ko ko dem na tay mom dafa melni line bi nangu wut honorable euh dede nga continuer be legi ok mu fa be legi hello kola hello hello aha hello ñu ngi la deklu hello hello ñu ngi la deklu ñu ngi la deklu sori sa télé bi tout rek suko defé nga mëna dégg ak ñun Wow, my echo no no. Hello. Oh.
ignore_time_segment_in_scoring ngajiko bare han sain be mol dan la fanan han sain be continue kam min nakam mako ki barol to bi ko ni be fanan ni mol min fanan ni mo fulo min fanan la bantol so ta e wo mol mi an ko mol fon le ki barol din to la mol la wo kam malam be mol tent la bake na tent 25 mol le ki barol de ka ju ko mo dan tan dun tan ay janne e bot na do bot gene bi saw do bot na senegal dun tan janne wol ngi so don wol ñam nga sama na quarantaine centre wala mu dal mi an ko kam mol ko tara wol to ni <laughs> mbe mol dan na wo munu ki barol di mol la mbe dan mbe tan la mbe jele bake ci continuer ko denke e baaw wo ya tan ni mol la ko say mol fo be jade ke nda takan ne ka ke fo la ha joti bare mo do fo nam be jebe jade ke nda fo takan na pour ka ku do tamanda ko do ka mol ka mol ka ko mol filindi wala ka ki ba di mol la mbe mol ki jo faran la wala ka ki ba di mol la mi an ka ba mol ha kilo bi so wasara demande so kamala mol fo na mol dan da fo na se se ko ko tiye yin tambe ni ni courant ci ba be kering fea banta jele e politiko banta jele a ko ko mi an ko fo sa sa nan da mol se so comme ton ka ko ki ba do di mol mi ka ki jo faran de asa bu ka be wuda la wala tawdu la do to wal be mo ngene kala yin tambe fea ko be banta ko ko no be nga so be am do do be so be nan so be ko nyaming ñu ko folo ka bi courant folo da folo da gambe nga annonce lu mëna mo le sobe abinta ke bulul ko wato wat en kana ku liol bu kake ku jama bu kake lafta nga mur wol kan ko tanga ba ni nga jibe say mo le ko 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 kele ko 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 ke do me bi ke kan wala fo ba na courant bi wajje be kan ko tanga so kamala mo le dan wala ba ko ko fanam be jela wala problem mo ni wala mo ki baro ni do ka fule ko lafta le mo je mi ya soto ya nga mara o ka fu ko lafta nga mo je mi ya soto mo kana dua ya fuko nga nga moje mi an ko ay ni courant soto ba ni a jibe mo fa dam ko dua fa nay moy courant soto ba ni moy fa nan soto fa nan e fa nan sala do be je ta su de no la do be je sa su de no do asi dol batandi e ni be jaro takan do be asi di joko la ne fa la bon fa sama sama du la ba alen to fa nan dema mon be ta la nay la do mo ma ma sen do mo la mi an ko sa bu ga ta to nyato ni mbara da bakale mi at ne be fendi la mi an ka ba ma ko la na mo bi je mi an ko doctor kendol la be je ne no kendol be je mo 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 ta je e be contande be seconde so kam ba physical distancing because sanya anunto al nar ni to momina al ko le no social distancing na ta falo je ko physical distancing physical distancing wo mo problem wol tede parce que ni ta 
On behalf of Honorable uh, Usman Sila and Mudin Jai, and on behalf of my camera crew, technical crew, and my able director, uh, Babu Karsengor, we want to thank you very much. And our sign language uh, uh, expert there, Mr. Sonko, thank you very much for watching and good night. Okay. C'est <coughs> 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 Balouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouwodalouw
ñu leen di nuyu ku nekk sa tour ak sa sante neew bu baye ko TRRC Truth Reconciliation and Reparation Commission ngir fatal ne rek TRRC mom leen jox doole sakku deug ak taxawal deug ci walum jafé jafé note ak tro tane yi tegon nit ñi baye ko July 1994 ba January 2017 ci walum liggey ngir sakku deug nak fok ñu am képp ku nga xamantene ni boko na ci nit ñu nga xamane leen notone toroxal leen teg leen ay ñaawte ñu leen di ñaan ngeen ñoo joxe seen statement yi wa ñu leen di wax tamit ne képp ku nga xamantene ni bu nga ñoo joxe sa cadeau waye bu lo feñ ci télé wala ci caméra wala ci ñiñ ñu bari lool yépp ne la ko mëna rafétal ñu defal la ko ci sécurité kon ñu leen di ñaan yeen ñepp képp ku nga xamantene jank wanté nga torox tande wala ñaaw tef bu baye ko bopu jamono ñu leen ñaan nga ñoo joxe sa statement bi képp ku nga xamantene ni bu nga ñoo joxe sa statement Call al Victim Support Unit. Si 770-4988. 770-4988. 770-4988. Wala nga call statement teka si. Si 741-5937. 741-5937. 741-5937. Jiringin jif.